I have it on good authority. There was a massive party thrown last night, but all of the EUS solo queue junglers. Why? Because MSI has finally ended. This means they don't have to verse Canyons nearly anymore. This guy has been terrorizing the server ever since he landed, okay? He hit rank one in two weeks, the fastest climb I've ever seen today. I'm gonna break down Canyon's climb, his nidalee, his pathing, and also talk a little bit about these super accounts, these pro accounts, and how he hit rank one so far. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto Summoner's Rift. Coming onto Summoner's Rift now, guys, the rune page, okay? It's electrocute setup. The secondaries are very important. You're going water walking. You need to be in the river. You need to be everywhere at once on the map. Canyon is everywhere, okay? The guy is literally everywhere. When I versed him, it's just you cannot, you can't breathe. If there's a skirmish and you say, will the jungler be here? I wonder if the jungler's here. He's there. He's always there, okay? And this is the type of strategy that you need to be playing when you're a jungler. Don't just bloody farm camps and wait. As you can already see, a level one skirmish outbreaking. He's looking. He has flash here. Enemy team shows up. Risky. Flash is in for first blood. And we're already started, okay? And we're going to get a... What's the buy? Probably Dark Seal, right? And try and stack that up. He comes through. Tristana is C9 Sven. This was recorded, I think, on the day or the day before that C9 eventually lost and went home. Um, rest in peace. As we're going to see Canyon start his blue. One thing I noticed about Canyon, especially when he duoed with Khan a lot, even when he doesn't duo with Khan, he focuses topside a lot. Um... It just seems like he obviously thinks the lane is the easiest to gank in the early game. The pathing really rewards like a bot to topside clear. Looks for the gank, gets the scuttle. Um, looks to try and get a little bit of a cheeky invade. Um, the guy definitely knows what he's doing. So Q start guys into the W, okay? Nidalee's clear speed is almost unmatched. It's a very fast clear, okay? And you need to be making sure to space it out. You don't want to just be sitting on camps. We know how to... A silver jungler just sits there in tanks. You need to be moving efficiently towards your next camps. Um, so it's a better and faster clear. See some beautiful spears. I believe this is this is his Nidalee skin as well. <laughs> this is literally his skin. <sighs> when will I get my own skin? Maybe next year. Who knows? Like you just never know. We're coming through level three here. And you need to be careful here as a jungler. Here comes the Zed. Oh my god. Um, any good mid laner knows, like, a roundabout on your second wave crash, the Nidalee, like, if they're doing a full clear, they're gonna be doing Wraith, so you wanna go across and check. Weeboo Slayer, he's a Zed main in EU West. Um, smart man, he comes across and he steals that, and that's gonna be a big hit. But Canyon's clear. As you can see, he's prep, like, it's, you always gotta be forward thinking with Nidalee, start prepping your camps before. Beautiful first clear, not the fastest, you know, there's a couple of... Not sure if it's mistakes, but it'll be a full clear at what time you reckon, like three, well, let's see. These little ones, oh. 310, 311, not bad, not bad. As we go into the top side and you can see the scuttle is spawning, but also top lane is looking mighty low and he does this every game, he just hunts. He gives away his position here. I don't know if it's possible, puts the, that's a beautiful trap placement because it means that he can't go into that side of the tower. And he goes in, he gets the kill. And did, like, it's just disgusting. He does this very often, guys. So he's gonna kill that. Love that trap placement, by the way. And now he's gonna pick up topside scuttle. As I think bot lane, did they get? They got must have got ganked by the rumble and they drop as well. Little scuttle. Now look for the Zed. We don't have flash, remember? Spear goes wide. Rumble should be sitting in this river, by the way. It's very, like, you need to be super careful here. With dodges, and here comes a rumble. That is Kire. I think he's the new jungler for Shalka. He's going to replace Gilius, by the way. What the hell, man? What happened to Gilius? He's playing bloody good. Go in. Rel gets the kill. Okay, Rel, good job. Flash in from the set. All the boys are here, and that is a bloody tremendous start. And Gromp is up. So he's probably going to recall into the bot side. And one. Oh, he cancels. Looking. I don't know. Rel goes in. Is Silas going to die? Dude, he doesn't die. And Canyon gets his fourth kill, 300 gold bounty. And he's level 5 at 4 minutes 40. And top lane's overextended. I'm wondering if he just looks for that as well. He's, he's spent, he needs a lot of gold to be spent here. Rumble. They see... Yeah, Rumble's going to steal away the wraiths. He gets his lucidity boots. And his revolver working towards a night harvester on Nidalee. Looking to get that extra damage and burst. 
So I wanted to talk this video about these super accounts, okay? So when pros go to bootcamp, they all get gifted a high MMR account. It's a level 30 account, but it's a lot different to just you hitting level 30 and going and playing a fresh ranked game. What Riot can do is seed your accounts. They can seed your rank. Oh, as this spear, dude, what is that? Is that damage? damage doesn't seem nice. Keep going, keep going. Make sure to get the autos. Q just goes wide. Oh, the center healing. And the nice little mechanic by Nidalee guys is you Q, then you turn into Cougar and jump away and you get some extra range. Moving in. Wants to try and give that kill over to Tristana. Beautiful. Looking to go back in. Zed actually picks up the Trist. And he doesn't have red buff here, so it's a little bit awkward. He wants to get the wave in. And I'll talk more about these super accounts in a second. Silas is flanking behind. That's one. Yeah, Cho'Gath, Cho'Gath, Cho'Gath. Good boy. Banking it up. Silas can go. it. I don't think... Silas does die, and he will die as well. So, it's dead even in gold. He's 4, 2, and 4 to start the game. 6 stacks on the Dark Seal. And this is what I mean, like... When you pl like when he plays when a, when you play with a good jungler, they're always doing something or working their way towards an objective. Okay, they're never just oh I'll kill this camp I'll kill this camp. They're always doing something, man. I love playing with these high elo junglers, man, because they're just getting stuff bloody done. Okay, they're looking for the ganks, they're looking for the plays, and they just got their hands in in everything. Okay, it's pretty annoying. Um, so anyways, as I was saying, these super accounts hopefully doesn't do anything for a bit. These super accounts, okay. They get seeded around about Diamond 2 to start, MMR-wise. So, number one, they're starting pretty high elo. If they, their first 10 to 20 games are very important. It seems like it gives you more. Remember, it's all about MMR. It seems like the first 10 to 20 games give you very high MMR, maybe 30 or 40, or maybe even 40 to 50. It gives you a lot. So if you have a very high win rate in your first 10 to 20 games, you will already start playing against challengers with the challenger MMR. Of course, Canyon and Khan dual queued their first games until Masters. So they had a very they had 83% win rate to master. And by doing this, their MMR was crazy. They probably already had, by the time they hit Masters, around about a thousand MMR. Okay. There was zero ELO, zero LP. Okay, zero LP masters, but they had a thousand MMR. So their LP gains were like plus 30 minus seven that's what they were getting so even though they had like 55 percent win rate from masters while someone else getting plus 20 minus 20 would climb very slowly within two to three days they're climbing four five hundred lp it's ridiculous okay even with a i think showmaker had a 50 percent win rate even and he was just climbing he climbed like 500 lp in like three days because we failed jump um so these super accounts are very very beneficial to the players it speeds up the climbing process in saying that some people are so delusional that they say it's not fair if i had one of these accounts i would be challenger i would get rank one it's easy you're absolutely stupid because the way these accounts work okay is because your mmr is so high the matchmaking is gonna number one put you into the highest possible games but also give you the worst possible teammates because they don't want to stack a team the matchmaking is all based off of mmr okay so the games get so hard at that level and they're still holding, especially Canyon held 55, 60% win rate in challenger games. No one else is doing that. He had, he, no one else is, is able to do that or able to match that. If you gave anyone else, even some challenger EUS junglers, some of these accounts, they would have probably 30 to 40% win rate because the games are match made so bloody hard against you, okay? So the fact that he's still able to climb with a positive win rate, not an insane win rate, but a very positive win rate is extremely impressive okay you don't just get gifted rank one you have you, it, the games become very hard and it frustrates me i see a lot of people on reddit saying super account doesn't count super easy anyone could do it you're delusional you don't understand how these accounts work there was plenty of pro players that didn't even crack masters they didn't even crack grandmaster okay they struggled a lot because they just couldn't they just couldn't cope with how hard the matchmaking was if their accounts got high mmr canyon Showmaker, they could cope. They cope very well, and they both hit rank one because of it, okay? Because they're talented players. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about these accounts. How, yes, it speeds up the climb, but it's not 
they're not it's not breaking like it's not unfair it's not unbalanced it's just they're there to play in the highest elo game so right games if they're good enough these pro players they give them the chance to play in the best quality matchmaking it makes sense okay and yeah anyways rant over let's get back into the game i've missed a lot sorry about that as we have a knight harvester completed gold is still actually dead even is he full health Ooh. Dead. There's no way that, land that landed. Holy shit. You can see Rumble here. Actually has a level advantage. And oh, Spears, man. Fine. Got a Juke out on the Rumble. Rumble damage is ridiculous, remember? And we're just quiet. We're just missing some of these Spears. If they land, I tell you what. Who's Rumble Lord is that? Silas. Hey, buddy. Pantheon flashes in. We're not done. Whole team. Goon squad, baby. 7, 3, and 6. We've got 7 stacks on the Dark Seal. Nidalee with a Snowball, guys. And Medjai's is always a good purchase. I don't think he'll go it here. As we get the Codex. Probably looking for the Hourglass. It's a great buy for Nidalee, guys. You're looking to get in there, jump in, and just use your Hourglass to stall some time for your cooldowns. Enemy team is doing Senna, Trogath. Pretty gross combo. As the Senna doesn't get farmed, she obviously gets more um, souls. And I think Nidalee's a great jungler to have in your champion pool. Even if you're like, it doesn't matter what role you play. Nidalee's a great autofill jungler, I think, if you know how to play it. It's very fun. It's very active on the map. It's not something, you know, it's not like, it's not, I feel like it's a lot easier to play than something like the Lee Sin. If someone wants to play something mechanical or fun, like, I hate autofilled Lee Sins, but like a good mid lane main, like someone like Showmaker and stuff, they play Nidalee in their fill and it's just ridiculous the damage. As you can see how hard it is for the Rumble to play. And there's even kills here that he's not able to get. If he landed a couple more skill shots, you know, I'm not saying I would hit those skill shots, but I'd probably hit the skill shots. Just a joke, by the way, don't get offended. As we set up the dragon, this is the second Drake of the game, one of the best ways to win in lower elos is stacking drakes, okay? Get your mid lane to shove the wave, get your bot lane to shove the wave. Then go and start the dragon, because that means that your mid and your bot can come and move while the enemy team is stuck under tower clearing minions. It's as simple as that, set up the objectives. If your bot lane is hard shoved in, and the mid lane is hard shoved in or basing, don't start dragon. The enemy team will collapse on you and you'll die, and then your teammates will flame you, okay? Pretty simple, okay? I explain how to get some free wins and how to think about the game. Give it to Nid. Come on, we're really gonna give it to this C9 player? As we're not done yet, Sweeper is very essential, by the way, when you're playing a jungle like this. You're sitting in their jungle. Okay. Spear, Lance. Goes in. Gets the stun. Gotta be careful here, though, right? Here comes the Rel. Rel's tanking. Nidalee, oh, doesn't get hit by the Q. But Chogat does pick up the Rel. Red buff is spawned. And do, like, he's just so active on the map, right? It's pretty gross. Oh, goes wide. 4k gold lead, now it's starting to get out of hand. Rift Herald topside is spawning soon. And I think comp-wise, their comp is fine. Their scaling is really good with the Tristana. Center, of course, like super late game is great, but it's going to have, it's like, it, number one, it's solo queue. It's not competitive, so it's hard to stall out. But number two, Tristana scaling is fine. You have some great range. And we pick up the Magi's double control ward too. Don't forget your control wards. Now, if you're a jungler, I like to put my control wards in the mid lane to keep my mid laner safe. Just an idea. You know. Sometimes the mid laner can't get any vision out, so you, I like to help him and put the vision there. So if you guys want to do that in your games, um, especially if I'm in the game, that'd be great. Try and get some wards for me, please. Cheers. As a skirmish breaking out in the mid lane, is Canyon going to finish the Herald? He will, but his team's going to lose the fight, I'd say. I'd say. Oh. 
That's a beautiful hourglass by the Rumble. Kira coming up clutch. Hey, nice Magi's buddy. Zero stacks. He's got the same curse as me. Enemy team come back into the game. He gets the Harold though. And Sven is just split pushing in the bot side all day. Have a frost. Rumble's getting nerfed next patch, by the way. I think I think all the junglers are. I think maybe I think Rumble is getting his damage to camps nerfed. I think that Dino is possibly. Um and of course Morgana as well. They're getting their all of their like their jungle clears killed. So you had a good run, but goodbye. Which is unfortunate because it's gonna be an indirect nerf to AD mids, like the Kiana, like the Zed, like the Jace. Um AD mids will get nerfed because there's going to be, of course, less AP junglers um, to synergize with. That's why a lot of the AD mids and a lot of players and coaches said that things like Zed were very high tier. Just because of how many AP junglers there was in the game. It's very annoying to stack double a mid and a jungle, both AP. It's very easy to itemize against. I hate I hate um, having the same damage type as my jungler. Usually a pretty big um, disadvantage. No way. No way, this said. He kept going? Naughty boy. Lashes up. <sighs> Beautiful spear behind. Did did Rel almost <laughs> kill that guy? Jesus Christ, support's really balanced. As this could be good if Set can get in. Set has no flash. Pops the Harold. And picks up the center. And now they're just going to use their range. They should be able to see Jap. Maybe even two towers. Let's see. Rumble ult. Who's is stronger? The actual rumble is going to be way stronger, by the way. Jumps in. And a massively positive fight for red side. Dragon spawning as well, by the way. And this is super important when you're playing jungle, playing any role, just tracking the dragons, guys. Stack that shit up. The best win con in the game. Literally just dragons. Gives you a clear, especially like in lower elos, I said this a lot. Like it's just such a nice clear win con for your team. In a team that doesn't really understand win cons, no offense. If you if, if your team says, oh yeah, there's a soul fight here, let's group for it. Like it's just simple. Makes sense. A lot of the times it works out. In lower elos, if you've got to commit like a 1-3-1 one, one or something complex, usually it doesn't go too well. Let's be honest. Got 12 stacks on the book. Book, book, book. Looking for 25. He should have a lot of gold in the bank here as well. Does he steal it? Gives it. Junglers, watch this. Because mine at least take the blue and say you don't need blue, you have a mana item. And then I leave the game. So just please, junglers. Even when you have this many kills, you don't need to take all the resources. You have so much bloody you have so much bloody sustain as a jungler. Piss off. Cheers. Oh. For it. Spear has to land. That's a nice rumble lord. Separates the team. He's going in, trying to pick up the Tristana. Is he able to get it? Cho'gath flashes and 800 gold over. One spear to rule them all. It misses. Someone was here. Was there someone here? Was that, was that his W that started up? And he's just gonna clear out the camp. He's just gonna clear the camps. This is what you number one thing for Nidalee guys is counter jungling too. Before getting your own jungle, get the enemies because you clear so much faster. In saying that, you don't really clear that much faster than a bloody rumble. Rumble clear is very fast. But you can see he'll clear this entire jungle. <laughs> so gross. And look how like it's just disgusting how fast you can do this. But yeah, two weeks is all it took him to get rank one, guys. Very fast climb. Like, 
Without a super account, it would have taken him, let's probably like a month. It depended on how many games. It probably would have taken him double the amount of games. Maybe even more, by the way. So just like, the reason he could hit rank 1 and hit this thing so far, yes, it's because of these accounts. Plain and simple, yes. Would he have hit rank 1 anyway? Was he the best jungler on the server? Yes. It just would have taken him, taken him extra time, which he didn't have, um, obviously, because he was playing pro, and now he needs to go home. So, honestly, I like these accounts. I don't think, like, people are stupid. Like, people say they should just get a, a, a normal account like everyone else. So you want to put Canyon versing, like, silvers and golds in his first games. Is this what you want? You want an absolute slaughter. You want people to quit the game because of how bad they got gapped. He, he, gap, he was gapping literal challenges so ridiculously hard with this pick. Imagine what he does at that elo. It's just, it'd just be cruel. So that's not a solution. Maybe hard capping the MMR. I don't know. I think eventually it'll, it always evens out your MMR. This system is actually a very good system. Everything will eventually be even and will be balanced. Everything will be fair. Just takes time sometimes as these spears are disgusting. 25 stacks have been completed. Baron Nashor is most likely the next objective. And Silas trying to get a big old juicy book as well. Only 22 pages on that one though. Not as much knowledge. And what do you guys think overall of MSI? I thought it was a pretty hype tournament. Um, Mad Lion taking Dalmon to a best of five. Probably the highlight. I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, C9 showed moments of brilliance, but they also lost to my region O's, so they just showed moments of absolute crap. Um, was it expected? Of course. Of course it was expected, but um, I'm really excited for Worlds, guys. Worlds will be absolutely bonkers. Four teams are going to be confirmed for the LCK, which means possibly Faker, possibly Chovy, and four teams from the LPL. Um, we might just end up straight up having quarters, semis, finals, literally... All China, all Korea. Who knows what's going to happen, but um, can't wait. I hate that we can only see one team in MSI from each region. You know, I want to see G2. I want to see Fnatic. We'll see if Fnatic even make it, let's be honest. Roster moves. A little bit interesting. As the build path, guys, we got Lich Pain, we got Hourglass. Last item is going to be a Death Cap or a Void Staff, depending. Death cap will be better in this circumstance for sure, but if they had tanks, a void wouldn't be a bad option. Now it's just a game, like essentially, especially if you're a skill shot mid laner, this is why it's so good. You just throw on Qs. You land a Q, you kill someone. Pretty simple. As Rumble picks up a set, spear. Um, just please land a max range spear, I swear to God. Please, man, just one spear. Well, no spears have been landed, I guess. Nope. Well, we killed the Zed. All as well. And they should be able to run down mid for an end, no? His own skin and he doesn't get Heat Seeker Spears? Come on, man. Good job, Svenning. Ocean Soul, by the way, guys, just to secure it. I'll pick this up. Will they re- they- mm, One reset, and then we'll end, I think. Don't stall it out. Baiting, baiting. Here he comes. Cho- Is he gonna drop? He lands a spear. He's silenced, however. Doesn't get the juke onto that. Has to use the hourglass, right? Yep. Pantheon's going to come through with a W, and they should be able to kill him here. That is a huge shutdown. Is it going to be enough to turn the game? Absolutely bloody not. But it gives us some extra time to watch uh, this team in action, and we get, we're get we going to go for the Void Staff here. Okay, interesting. I guess it's the cheaper alternative. This game probably not going to last that long, but I think a Death Cap with 25 stacks on the Dark Sea, on, on the Magi's would have been absolutely sick if we could have hit it. AP you'd get probably like seven, eight hundred, something ridiculous. Oh, here comes the one. Wait, that's his Shogathol? Crunch him? Wait a second. <laughs> oh my god, look at this Zed go. 
No way. Gets eaten, finally. Silas is a great pick in the Cho'Gath, guys. You steal away his um, feast, and you get the feast yourself. You increase in size, you increase your health. Um, it's a very nice, uh, one of the best ultimates you can steal as Silas. We come through, looking for a topside clear. God, Silas is so broken at the moment, man. I'm just, I love playing this champion. And of course, when you're Silas and you steal Nidalee away, you get the Cougar form. Which means, uh... You don't get any spears, which kind of suck, but... It's always nice to jump around and change. Put yourself in a little cat suit, nothing wrong with that. In game, of course. Yeah, it takes half of Kira's health. Looking for another. Try me a big spear. Sven is just untouchable at this point. Three and a half. There should be a siege of this tower and move it in. Let's go. Pack it up, boys. Yeah. Oh, did that dude that hit it? Jesus Christ! Just one taps him. Pops the hourglass. I think. No, it doesn't die. Just one shots the Nidalee. How disgusting is that? Is that a triple? Is that a quadra kill? That is a quadra kill. 17 5 17. Again, they will finish off the game. This will be the last review, guys, of I do that I do of these MSI players as their accounts will all expire and get deleted. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, catch us later. Peace.